Bonjour, Madame Blue here, and I am back with another video. And this is just like a bonus little episode to my Black Hair Care series. Um, as you can tell from the title, it has to do with Olaplex. Now, this is not a sponsored video in any way, shape, or form. This is just a product that I use pretty much every day. So, Olaplex is a bond rebuilder. Um, and if you don't know about bonds in the hair, then check out... I'll put on the screen which video I talk about bonds, but it's I talk about it in one of my earlier videos. So I just reattach this eyelash and it's still a little sticky. So it keeps attaching to my bottom lash. So yeah, um, Olaplex is a bond builder. Now, what... Um, Olaplex does, and this is straight from their website, is basically, wait, let me back up. <laughs> Anytime you do something to your hair, you have the potential of breaking bonds. There's different bonds in the hair. Some of them break by doing different things. Some break from chemical services. Some break from combing, brushing. Some can break from excessive heat. Um, and there's other things that affect your hair like UV, from like the sun and then if it's like really cold so pretty much anything we do with our hair we're breaking bonds some of those bonds um, depending on what happens can be broken permanently and some of those bonds um, they group back together and continue to keep the hair strong so what now let me read this verbatim so I don't mess up the science of it all so um, specifically, we're going to talk about the disulfide bonds. Um, so when the disulfide bonds break, one of, one of two things can happen. Um, it can either, let me just read this and stop trying. So it says the first reaction is that the single sulfur hydrogen component pairs with a single oxygen molecule. And if that happens, that good, that's good. No further damage will take place. Um, another option is a single sulfur hydrogen molecule will pair with three oxygen molecules, creating SO3. Uh, too much lip gloss per usual. And um, that will be known as, I just read this word and I, I forgot already, cysteic acid. And that uh, what that does is it eats the protein out of the hair. And as I said in all my other videos, hair is made up of protein. So if something, you have something in your hair eating away at the protein, then you might as well start over because your hair is trash. Um, it um, it makes the, the single sulfur hydrogen bond bond faster with the single oxygen bond so that there's a better chance of it bonding with the single oxygen bond versus the three oxygen bond so that's how um, Olaplex works and Olaplex can be used on all hair types it's not a conditioner it's not a protein treatment it's a bond rebuilder so you can use it on all hair types natural curly straight relaxed highlighted color treated um, I use four different kinds one of them is practically empty so I'm not even gonna get it but it's basically they're number one. Now they have zero through number seven, if I'm not mistaken. And I use six, seven, three, and sometimes one. Two is the same as three, but more concentrated. So sometimes I have that too. But it just depends on what type of treatment I'm doing, which one I do. So it can be used on all hair types. It can be used um, multiple times a week. Um, again, it's not a conditioner and they have an active ingredient, which I'll put on the screen. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, um, that does all this. So, and I like to use them because to me, it's just extra protection for the hair. I always use it for chemical services. And now I, because they came out with an oil, I'll show you. I use it for my presses too. And... Oh, one important thing is you cannot leave this in your hair. Um, and you can only get it if you have a license. I don't know if you can order directly from their website, but 
as far as I know, you can only get it if you have a license. And I'll double check on that because I feel like other places may sell it. But I don't know because I only get it from the stores where you can where you have a license to shop at. Anytime you're getting a chemical services, this should be used. They have other bond rebuilders out there in the world. I've tried another one, which actually I just tried the shampoo and the conditioner. I really liked it. But um, because they had the first of this thing and they have the patent for it, I just choose to use theirs. It's pretty expensive to me. Like this little thing is $14. But I'll go over those in detail in a minute. So I just want to reiterate reiterate it's a bond rebuilder it's not a leave-in conditioner you follow the instructions on how to use it um you can use it multiple times a week it will it will help to strengthen your hair so in the back tells you how to use it because you're supposed to use it then shampoo and condition which i usually wash then use it then wash again because the hair be dirty and i'll be like mm -mm, we need to clean the hair first so yeah, that's it. It's especially great for chemical services, but I use it for every day. So the kinds I use are this one. I use this um, anytime I do, and this is the number three. And this is usually what uh, clients take home. Um, but I just usually get this one because this stuff's expensive. And the number two, it's like this big old jug that's like $200 and I'm like, so, I usually just get this because I don't, excuse me, I don't do a ton of chemical services. So, I just don't see the investment for me to buy that big old jug when I don't use a ton of chemical services. Although, I probably bought so many small ones, probably added up. Who knows? We'll get it together. Um, so, I usually use the number three. And that's on anyone who has uh, chemically altered hair. Because, like, for relaxers, a treatment is automatically um, included. And that's this for hair color it's automatically included and that's this is one of the treatments I do um, and then depending on the client I will send them home with that um, if they pay for it and then these two all of them are practically the same the same ingredients they do the same thing it's just different concentrations of the ingredients and then different I guess consistency that's not the really the word I'm really looking for but like this is more like a See if I can squeeze. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. But you can see the consistency of that. Now I gotta clean that up. Um, this is a lot thicker. This is what they came out with for smoothing before they came out with this oil. And it's so thick I have to put it upside down so that it all goes down here so that I can push it. So I don't really use this one. I usually use this if I'm about to do like extensions. I just blow dry it in. Because to me it's just too thick to use on a press. And then this one, it's a light oil. So this is what I use on presses and if you seen my last silk press video you will see I use that so those are the ones I use I pretty much use them look I'm putting it in my hair I use it on my extensions too if anytime I color hair extensions I definitely use Olaplex just because I want my extensions to be bomb too like okay so yeah guys that's it um if you cannot get access to it ask your hairstylist can they get it for you and do your research I mean their website is open to the public as far as like their FAQs and information on it so it's not like it's a hidden thing you can go on their website oloplex.com get more information and see if it will help you and to me it's helpful for everybody because we be out here ruining our hair and wonder why we bought it so that's it guys thank you for watching make sure to check out all my other videos and don't forget to like subscribe share share this video with some of your homies tell them to like subscribe why I say it like that um, you know, all that good stuff. And TTYL. Oh, y'all like these cute little headbands? I do sell them now. They are available on my website at www.maddamblue.net. Alright guys, thank you for watching.